How's it going today, guys? We're coming at you with a quick cereal review because we've been getting tons of comments, questions about keto cereals. What are the best ones? How do I get my hands on it? Can you talk about them? I think there's really four of them. Yeah. And I'm not naming names, but a lot of these sites, I'm positive they have fake reviews on their website. I don't know, have I tried all these? Cereal School is reformulated. We haven't tried the reformulation. This, These two are the ones people are asking about the most. This is one that we have actually bought before and I enjoy it quite multiple a bit. Multiple times, yeah, it's very good. Ingredients and, are not the best. And this one we've actually bought multiple times too. But they've reformulated it as well and so the macros are slightly different. We've never bought in either of these. No, they were sent to us. Button. So first off, prices. For 24 bags, this size, $50. And is one bag a serving? Yeah. Okay. So that is- 24 pr servings. Pretty much a fortune. This right here, four boxes for $39. Pretty expensive, $10 a box. Sent seven servings per container. And yeah, it's like a small box. It's like Fruity Pebble size boxes. You know when you get the Fruity Pebbles, they're like way smaller boxes than all the rest of the cereals for some reason. Catalina Crunch. Four bags for $39, same price as Magic Spoon. This one you get nine ounces per bag though, this one only seven. And then the Nuko Coconut Crunch Cereal, three boxes for $24. So that is almost in the realm of normal cereal prices. It's a little bit more expensive, but by far the most budget friendly. And 11 ounces. So that's the best deal by a mile. First off, let's just go through net carbs. Okay. So this one, is actually claiming to be one gram of carbs, one gram of fiber, zero net carbs. That's what this says. Magic spoon, three net carbs, eight carbs, two fiber, and then some allulose. So three net carbs. Catalina Crunch is five net carbs, 12 total carbs and seven fiber. And then the Nuko Coconut Crunch is 10 net carbs, 18 total, eight fiber. So that's by far the highest in carbs. Okay, so ingredients. It's basically milk protein, some sunflower oil. And tapioca fiber. I mean, ingredients are pretty reasonable. Remember, like if you're having cereal, the ingredients are generally gonna suck, so. As far as bad ingredients go, that's not bad, right? I feel like this is the one we've been getting the most questions about. Because it's the newest it's and new. it's a lot of uh, advertisements on IG. Protein blend, coconut oil. It's basically the exact same thing as this one, except it uses coconut oil instead of sunflower oil, which is a slight upgrade in my mind. It also uses allulose. This one's probably gonna be sweeter, whereas this one has no sweetener. Oh, this one has monk fruit, okay. And then the Catalina Crunch is a Catalina flour. So that's just like pea protein, potato fiber, chicory fiber, acacia fiber, and then tapioca flour, sunflower oil, cocoa. Not great ingredients. Not the best ingredients at all. Then their sweetener is monk fruit. Coconut crunch is- These are the best ingredients. Yeah, so it's organic coconut water, coconut meat, and then palm starch. Three ingredients. Yeah. And pretty good. It's usually the trade off you make. You can go like whole foods and higher carb or Science lab, lower carb. Well, the one thing I like about like all the, this also compared to maybe cereal school, is like cereal school is 16 grams of protein. Yeah. And this is one protein and nine fat. These are all pretty high protein. Okay, let's try these. Start with cereal school. This is fruity. You want fruity or cinnamon bun? Probably fruity. So they're like little puffs, they're balls. Not overly sweet. Not overly flavorful. Really lacking in flavor. Wow, flavor's like completely gone. Right there is again. no flavor. It's a little bit right at the start and you get excited, you're like fruity pebbles and then it's just like completely gone. It's like a traumatic event from your childhood where you're like having fun and it's like just goes away. It's like a corn a pup or something, right? I'd enjoy eating them, but barely. I, would, I wouldn't buy them. So Magic Spoon, my feeling is this is gonna be a lot sweeter and, and probably very better. very similar in like texture. So these are actually like Cheerio style. And they have four flavors. So. These smell really fake and like artificially. And this is frosted flavor. So a lot sweeter, a lot denser right off the bat. A lot better. It is almost like frosted flakes a little bit. Wow, it's really fake tasting at the end. Do you get that? Not really, no. I do. This one is like at least 15 times better than that one taste wise. Yeah. I do kind of appreciate the fact that this one doesn't have any like allulose erythritol. This has some allulose in it. But when you're buying breakfast cereal, I think you want it to actually taste good. And when we're calculating price, I mean, it's not even close. This Magic Spoon one. It's a lot more budget friendly. It's just better in every single aspect. Which again, back to the reviews. 
on the website. Look into those guys. And then Catalina Crunch. Catalina Crunch. They have three flavors. We got all three on deck right here. Just to take you through my life, after dinner sometimes I will have a serving of this because it is kind of habit forming though. But um, just to like sit in front of the TV and slowly just like, I like the suck on the cereal, pause. But it tastes good and it's just like enjoyable because there really isn't anything for keto that you can eat over the course of like 20 minutes while watching like TV. Like you could with like popcorn or pretzels. Yeah. So that's where this stuff comes in. Again though, the ingredients and the macros, not as good as either of these two. It's very subpar. And they have three flavors. They got chocolate, they have waffle, and they have cinnamon toast. They're all pretty good. You can get a variety pack, that's but what we get. But do you hear that crunch? Yeah, the crunch. Is it better than this taste-wise? Yeah. There's More no, flavor, not as much sweetness. There's no fake taste with the Catalina Crunch. Yeah, this one, the predominant flavor is just sweetness. This one actually has some flavors. A lot of flavor. If you're actually looking for like that crunchy cereal, this is this is just crunchier as mm -hmm. well. Price and taste, this one I would, would be my favorite. This one, if you're really looking to recreate your childhood, like this is childhood breakfast cereal. Cause they have like- That's not as much. They have like the fruity, I think, version. They have the cinnamon version. Mm -hmm. So they have like the fun childhood ones. Finally- This one's good if you want to pretend you're recreating your childhood cereal, but in like a really bad, healthy way. So that's when I would get this one. I would never get that one. I just wouldn't recreate my childhood. And then we have the final one, which is the coconut crunch. So again, best ingredients, highest carb. So this one has no natural sweeteners or sugar alcohols, anything like that. It's actually just sweetened with coconut meat and coconut water. coconut water, yeah. So like real sugar too, but it's you know from a whole food source. It's really good, but it is really just like coconut flavor. It so. tastes, it's so delicious though. If I you, like it. If you like coconut, like you would love this. If you don't like coconut, you're not, you're not going like to. It. It's almost just like coconut flakes, but with a little bit of more sweetness. In terms of price, like the best bang for your buck. So overall, if I had to rank them, it's tough because- It's personal, first of all. It's definitely gonna be personal. I mean, it's not personal. This one's for sure number four. Like no one could disagree with that, I think. What are you going number one? I mean, are we just going off of taste? Just the whole package. I feel like I'm still going Catalina Crunch as my number one. I think I'm going with this one too. <laughs> it's so hard because- It has the worst ingredients though. So I'm really just going off of taste then, I think. But, okay, so another thing you should consider different from us is are you eating this every single day? Because then maybe like if you're feeding your kids or something every single day too, Magic Spoon could be a better option because it is very sweet. And oh, if you're feeding someone who lost their taste buds in a horrific accident, you maybe could go cereal school. So yeah, personally, I'm going Catalina Crunch number one and then Ma Magic Spoon number two. Um, I think I might go with that one number two. Yeah, I wanted to say that. It just like, is a lot of carbs. They recently reformulated it, right? Yeah. So it's more carbs now? Yeah. But before that was for sure number two. For, for sure, this was number one before. Now I would say this one, Magic Spoon, is pretty close with that. Yeah, these two are on par. A little more carbs and way better ingredients. And cheaper too, that's the cheapest one. And cheaper. Yeah, I guess just in general, like stuff like this, it does cost a little more just for the ingredients. Although, I don't know how much more, like milk protein is pretty cheap. Yeah. But compared to, I guess like, I don't even know what cereal is made of, like wheat I, flour. Yeah, the tapioca flour and then the fiber is the only thing I can think. I think you're really paying a lot for like the R&D of actually developing this. Yeah. You know, I think the fact that there's like four reasonable keto cereals kind of shows how far we're coming and we're only gonna keep creating more stuff, right? More healthy snack foods. Yeah, agreed. I'm surprised Quest doesn't have something like this. That's it guys, keto cereals, what's your favorite? Have you tried any of these? It seems like a lot of you guys have been trying these. Yeah, let us know down below. I think we're gonna get a whopping hands up for Magic Spoon. Do you? Yeah. Okay, comment below.